Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and welcome back to our channel Kumar Programming. One of our subscribers asked a very good question that how we can spy, stub and mock our anonymous function. I thought this is a very good question and I could make a video on this so everyone can get to know about it. Okay, so in this video we are going to learn how we can spy, stub and mock our anonymous function. So let's start. So let's flip to the visual studio here first of all let's understand that what is anonymous function okay so anonymous function is function is not having any name so how we can create anonymous function so here i'll write a property name as an anonymous add okay and in this property i'm going to set an anonymous function so how we can write an anonymous function as a function and then write so this function is not having any name right if you see here all these functions are having name so these all are the named function but any function which is not having any name is known as a anonymous function so here we will pass as a parameter a as a type of number and b type of number okay and here we will return a plus b okay very simple right and also we can write this anonymous function in the short form by using our fat arrow so how we will remove this function and here we will use our fat arrow and we are not required to this curly bracket as well since we are returning only single line and if you are returning only single line then we are not required to use the return keyword as well okay so now if you see this is my anonymous function which is returning the sum of parameter which we are passing value a and b okay now we will write the test cases for this anonymous function okay so now let's move to our test folder here i'm going to use the example which i have earlier created for spy stub and mock so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here and let me rename this file as um, spy stub mock for anonymous okay dot spec dot ts great so here i'll do some changes um this synon matcher is not required here right so here we are using expect from chai and we are using our calculator class that which we have created here and we are importing our sinan mock sinan spy and sinan stuff from sinan library right and here we have created a variable for all our calculator class sinan spy as a spy and sinan stub as a stub and sinan mock as a mock right and here in our before hook we are creating a object we are instantiating our calculator class as a object with calc okay and here on before each before each is not required as of now so i'll remove for now and after each yes after each we need it because we have to restore our spy stub and mock and after hook this is not required at all and here i'll remove this implementation okay and i'll remove this okay now this is our parent suits okay and here we have another test suit which is a child test suit um, and here in the parent we will write as a anonymous function right and here in this test suit we will write our anonymous function test test okay and here we will write one test case that should spy on anonymous function should spy on anonymous function okay and here we can spy on function anonymous add okay so how we can do that we have already created spy variable and here we are going to instantiate synon.spy and where we are going to spy we are going to spy on calc object right and what we have to spy we have to spy our anonymous method okay right and we know that we have to write our test cases in 3a pattern arrange act and assert so this is arrange and now we have to act so in act mainly we are calling our actual function so here we will call our calc dot anonymous add and we will pass as a parameter as a 3 comma 3 okay right so it will be our act okay and now once act is completed then we have to write our asserts okay so here we will write our assert and how we can do the assert since we are spying on anonymous add method okay so here we can expect that spy dot called once right to be true this function should be called only once right 
so it would be true and what else we can expect here expect spy dot called with spy dot called with called with parameter 3 comma 3 right we are passing here parameter as a 3 comma 3 so we are going to check with 3 comma 3 only okay that would be to be true okay great so this is all that we have to do for our spy okay so now we are simply we are spying on our anonymous method so similarly we have to write our test cases for anonymous method as well like we have written for our normal function okay so this is done for our spy now similarly we will write for our stub so i'll copy this and here so disturb on a on an anonymous function okay and here we are going to stub cnn dot stub and what we are going to return because like we are stubbing it right so we have to return some value so here we are going to return as a 9 okay now act inside our act we have to call our function right so we have we are calling here our function now here i'll make a variable as a const const result right and calc dot anonymous add and here i'll pass 3 comma 2 okay right so what we are expecting here normally it should return 5 but we have stubbed this value with a value 9 so the result is going to become as a 9 right so what we can expect here expect this stub called once to be true right and what we can expect here also this result this result to equal to 9 right to equal to 9 since we have already stubbed this function return value with 9 here right so it doesn't matter whatever the parameter that you are going to pass over here it is going to return always value 9 okay so now in this way we can stub our anonymous function now let me show you for mock so here should mock on anonymous function okay and here synon dot mock and what we are going to mock we are going to mock our calc object okay now here we will mock and we know that if you are using mock we have to set the expectation so here we are going to set in arrange section we are going to set the expectation as well so mock dot expect right and what we what we have to set the expectation this function this anonymous add function should be called once right and it should return 10 okay returns 10 the expectation that we have set for this mock okay and now we are going to call this anonymous add we will just set the parameter as a 3 2 over here right however mock is the combination of spy and stub both okay so here we can check this result should be 10 okay and here we have to verify our mock mock dot verify very simple isn't it let me format our code control k f now let me run this test case we know that if you want to execute this particular test suite only so we are using our only keyword we have already learned in our previous video so here i am going to execute only this test case so now let me run this test case so i'll open a terminal here i'll open a git bash terminal now let's write our test case as a npm run test since if you see already we have defined our in our package.json file this test and test coverage right so i'm going to run here npm run test so it's going to run our only this test suite where we have only three test cases right hopefully each and every test cases should be executed successfully yeah see all these three test cases executed successfully so this is the way that we can spy stub and mock our anonymous function i hope this is clear to you and still if you are having any doubt please comment me and definitely i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible i'll post this code to the github and provide the link into the description so you can take the reference of it so that's come to the end of this video and friend there's a humble request to all of you if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos and please do 
like comment and share to the people who really need it your each and every subscription your like share gives me a lot of moral support to make the quality videos for you so that's all for the day i'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning